next major topic that we are going to start it is changing genes that is site directed mutagenesis pehle hum focus karenge ki mutation ya mutagenesis ka jo process hai ye kya hota hai so actually Uh, mutagenesis is a process uh, in by which we can change or alter uh, the genomic dna of an organism and this change um, it is um, relatively stable uh, and it is also called as a, a mutation now mutagenesis it can takes place in different ways uh, it can takes place naturally and uh, even another way is that uh, uh, when living organisms they are exposed to certain uh, mutagenic agents it can also induce changes in dna sequence and nowadays uh, the basic uh, you can say that the tool to study the functions of different genes uh, we can also induce the process of mutagenesis uh, in the laboratory अगर ये प्रोसेस नेचुरली हो तो इसकी वजह से लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स में बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स हो सकती हैं लाइक इट कैन इंड्यूस द कैंसर एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेस बट ओवरऑल बायोलॉजिस्ट हैव द व्यू पॉइंट दैट म्यूटेशंस आर द प्रोसेस ऑफ म्यूटाजेनेसिस नेचुरली इट इज द प्राइम फोर्स ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ आर द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन के इर्तकाय अमल में जो जीन्स का चेंज होना है विद द पेस्ट ऑफ टाइम ये इर्तकाई अमल की बुनियाद है बट ओवरऑल वी कैन से दैट द म्यूटाजेनिस इट इट कैन टेक्स प्लेस अंडर नेचुरल कंडीशंस एंड मे बी ट्रिगर्ड बाय सर्टन म्यूटाजेनिक एजेंट एंड कैन बी इंड्यूस्ड अंडर लेबोरेटरी कंडीशन एंड दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ म्यूटाजेनिस इट वॉज फर्स्ट टाइम रिपोर्टेड around 1927 by muller herman uh, muller while conducting experiments with fruit flies and he first time detected the phenotype related to the mutation when he irradiated fruit fly with uh, radiation like the x rays and then later on uh, it was also proved that uh, certain other environmental factors as well as pollutants they can also induce changes uh, in dna structure and first uh, while discussing different causes or mechanism of mutagenesis briefly we can first focus that uh, what is the difference between dna damage and mutations jahan tak uh, dna damage ka taluq hai to isme जो स्ट्रक्चर है अगर डीएनए का वो जब डैमेज होता है तो अल्टर होता है तो उसकी जो डीएनए की रेप्लिकेशन है ड्यू टू डैमेज वो स्टॉप हो जाती है तो हम ये कह सकते हैं कि लाइक अगर कोई सेल है या माइक्रोब है तो डैमेज की वजह से जो डीएनए है या हेरेडिटरी मटेरियल है वो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन में ट्रांसफर नहीं होगा बट ऑन द अदर हैंड इन केस ऑफ म्यूटेशन Uh, that may result in change in sequence of the bases uh, either as a result of addition or deletion of certain bases to uski wajah se kya hota hai ke mutation jo hai isme dna ki jo replication hai ye stop nahi hoti rather you can say that this change it is heritable and can be transferred from one generation to the next generation so this is the difference between the damage of the dna and the mutations now what may be the different mechanisms uh, by which uh, mutations can be uh, induced uh, mutations can be induced endogenously or can be triggered by different environmental interference or exposure as far as the endogenous causes are concerned they may be uh, hydrolysis of the bonds of bases for example uh in case of uh, a purine bases uh, thousands of bases may be present within a short dna segment and naturally the bonds between the bases it can be broken as a result of depurination so purine base bond it can be uh, damaged 
or purine base it can be removed and cell has some natural mechanisms where the DNA bases they can be again replaced with guanine or later purine bases but uh, on the other hand if natural mechanisms of repair if they are not working then other bases like adenine they may be incorporated and, and in this way uh, the natural process of mutation it can uh, start so the hydrolysis it is also one of the reason that bonds may be uh, broken as a result of hydrolysis and different bases they can be incorporated another uh, method that can be uh, carried out endogenously or even it can be triggered by certain chemicals or drugs uh, in vivo uh, it is the modification of the bases now modification it may be as a result of methylation or glycosidic bonds of sugars they can be modified or iske alawa jo process hai like alkylation ka jo process hai it is also uh, very important uh, jo alkylation hai ya kisi drug ke use karne se bhi ho sakta hai ya kisi chemical mutagen ki wajah se bhi ho sakta hai so iske side effects ye hain ki jab alkylation hoti hai uh, dna bases ki तो इसमें एक्सटेंसिव क्रॉस लिंकिंग हो जाती है इधर इंट्रा स्ट्रेंथ और बिटवीन अपोजिट इंटर स्ट्रेंथ तो उसकी वजह से क्रॉस लिंकिंग की वजह से डीएनए की रेप्लिकेशन जो है वो स्टॉप हो जाती है तो इस तरह से आप ये कह सकते हैं कि इट इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ डीएनए डैमेज तो इसके अलावा जो और डिफरेंट कॉजेज हैं लाइक एक्सपोजर टू यू रेडिएशन नेचुरली इट इज मे बी इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर कि जब यूवी को एक्सपोज होता है डीएनए तो उसकी वजह से जो दो एडजस्टन थाइमीन रेजिड्यूज हैं बजाय कि वो अपोजिट स्ट्रैंड के एडानिन से पेयर करें वो दे कैन पेयर बिटवीन दैम एंड इन दिस वे द थाइमीन डायमंड्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट कैन आल्सो हिंडर द डीएनए रेप्लिकेशन एडिशनली सम इंटरकलेटिंग एजेंट्स इफ दे आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द लेबोरेटरी like the addition of ethidium bromide for example if it is there in the bacterial culture it can preferentially target the plasmid dna so plasmid it is lost during the subsequent cell division and same problem may be caused by some other mutagens like the proflavin so these are different uh, mutagenic agent that can induce changes in dna structure but the dna changes are mutations they can also be uh, induced under laboratory conditions to study the functions of different genes and this specific subject we can discuss under the heading site directed mutagenesis and there are different uh, laboratory techniques where we can use this process of site directed mutagenesis for example three main types are used like acet mutagenesis Uh, next one it is primer extension at some uh, protocols or procedures that are based on polymerase chain reaction or pcr